We're often asked, what should an organisation do immediately following a security breach? The first few hours and days following any breach are key, and the immediate organisational response will set the tone for conversations with regulators and affected individuals and media reaction. Here are some tips on what a UK-based organisation should do immediately following a breach. Whilst this general guidance will be relevant to you in setting your response plan, it's important you recognise that each breach is unique and there is no one-size-fits-all approach. The first thing to do is to investigate to establish exactly what data have been compromised and take steps to get it back or close down any future access. If data have been taken without your authorisation and you know who has it, you may want to consider asking that it be returned and that the person who took it sign an undertaking confirming that all copies have been returned or destroyed. If the individual will not cooperate, you may be able to obtain an injunction or interdict requiring return of the data, destruction of it, or requiring that the person who has it does not use it for any purpose. You may also want to consider notifying the police as removal of data without permission, including removal by an employee, can amount to a criminal offence. You may also have cause to look at disciplinary uh, proceedings against staff depending on the nature of your policies, your working practices and what actions were taken by staff. If the data compromise took place in a live environment, i.e. was taken from a data or online system, you will want to give some consideration to shutting down those systems while you assess the threat of a further breach. If data compromise took place while the data was being processed by a supplier, you will want to review the agreement with the supplier with care and consider if the supplier is in breach of contract. Depending on the circumstances, you may want to be able to terminate the contract with the supplier, but at the very least, you will want to assess what powers you have to compel the supplier to make systems change going forward. If you are a supplier, you need to work out if the contract requires you to report the breach to your customer and work out how you will manage the situation with the customer going forward. Next, you will want to consider who to tell and how. If personal data is involved you and you are the data controller, you will need to, to consider notifying the Information Commissioner, the UK's independent privacy watchdog. Whilst most organisations are not legally required to tell the ICO, the Commissioner considers it best practice he is told about serious breaches involving large numbers of people or where the consequences for a small group are serious. Our advice to clients is generally that notification is best. The ICO will take into account the level of cooperation shown when deciding on what steps to take and does seek to work with organisations to improve compliance going forward. However, the final decision of what to notify is something that needs to be considered carefully since the ICO does have the power to fine organisations up to £500,000 for certain types of serious breach and could also serve an enforcement notice requiring the organisation to change its processes going forward. Often, however, the ICO will invite an organisation to give an undertaking that the issues that gave rise to the breach will be remedied going forward and will take no further action. The action taken and the level of fine will depend on a number of factors including the nature of the breach, the harm caused to individuals, what steps the organisation has taken to prevent the breach, the level of cooperation with the ICO and how the organisation responds to the breach. If your organisation is a firm regulated by the Financial Services Authority, you will also be legally required to report certain types of security breach to the FSA. The FSA has power to levy unlimited fines and to require that your firm take remedial action. You will also want to brief the press and media to get your side of the story out quick, early and directly and you will want to tell affected individuals quickly, especially if the risk of identity theft or fraud against those individuals is greatly increased. Lastly, you will want to brief your staff and make sure they know how to deal with inquiries from affected individuals. Once you have the situation under control, you will be able to turn your attention to any process or technical changes needed to prevent a reoccurrence.